Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Leo. Leo, this is your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the 21st through the 27th of December, 2020. Please keep in mind, you guys, that this is an intuitive reading. Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. Now, I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas out there. I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed season. All right, Leo, let's see what messages and energies we have for you this week. All right. Ooh, look at that. Fulfillment of wishes. Ah, that's nice. Woo, and we have awareness. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What does Leo need to know this week? What messages do you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising? 21st to the 27th of December, 2020. <laughs> All right. Give me just a moment, you guys. Let's see if I can... My guide said keep it, so we're going to. I'm not done shuffling yet, though. So we have the Knight of Swords coming up here as your situation. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Leo. Okay, we're ready. All right. And you guys, please keep in mind, my grandchildren are downstairs playing. They're having fun. Sometimes they have little fits and fuss like Orion is right now. Just know that they're safe and they are fine, okay? <laughs> All right. All right, in your foundation, we have the ooh, Nine of Pentacles. And what I love here, you've got the Nine of Pentacles, and then you have the Fulfillment of Wishes, which is the number nine as well. All right, what's benefiting your, uh, you know situation this week is the six of pentacles all right in your crowning position oh my goodness you have the ace of pentacles wow you guys have definitely got your money your career your business on your mind at this time and then we have the hierophant all right very nice okay now, we have the master, well, yes, we do. We have the master number 11, because we have the ace of pentacles, and we have awareness, which is the number one. Then we have the two nines here. So, master number 11 and the number 99, you guys, go Google the angel number meaning. So, uh, you know, it's going to bring more clarity into your situation, okay? All right. I'm just going to pull these up right here anyway. All right. So we definitely, we've got fulfillment of wishes. Some of you are definitely getting what you were wanting for Christmas. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this. Um, you know, I, I feel like you, you've been uh, thinking that, you know, you may not get it. Okay. But you're going to. So I'm getting a car, you guys. Um, I, That's what's coming through here from my guides. You're going to have a car. With the big old bow on it, okay, sitting in your driveway. That's what I'm getting right here. I love it. Wow. Okay, you're definitely going to have to leave me a comment and let me know if that message was for you, okay? Now, definitely seeing gifts. <laughs> I'm definitely seeing a, a phone call, okay, coming in here for some of you. And it is, it's a blessing, okay? Somebody is, you know, telling you some news that is very exciting. Uh, it, it could be a career opportunity, a business opportunity. It's going to take place, I feel like, the first week of January 2021. And it's, it's a dream come true, okay? It's the dream job. All right, Leo, we have awareness, okay? This is so powerful. This tells me, you know, that your crown chakra is open, your third eye is open, you're awake, you're aware, you're prepared, okay? 
um, nothing's going to slip by you, all right? You just have this, this inner knowing. I feel like for many of you, you're definitely manifesting, co-creating at this time. You know, for some of you, this is a, the fulfillment of wishes here, this, this opportunity that's coming in here. The blessings that you're going to be receiving, okay? This is something that you have caused, okay, by, by manifesting, by speaking your intentions, okay? You've made your mark. You're very powerful. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords, and this one flew out. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy right here, okay? Now, you guys, this being your situation, for some of you, it's going to be important that you speak up and you go after what it is that you want. You know, use power with intent. Do not back down, okay? Be very straightforward. Use clear communication, all right? There may be a situation here where you need to fight for something, okay? Uh, instead of just, you know, maybe backing away and uh, you need to stand up and be like, I want this or, you know, this is um, opportunity is for me, okay? And, you know, you just literally, I'm getting not taking no for an answer, okay? And that's what's needed right here. I definitely feel like you are, oh yes, you are, I mean, you are being divinely led and guided to do this, to, to you know, use this power with intent. You see the eagle up there that, you know, you guys look at the spiritual meaning of the eagle, and I'm going to tell you something, it's very powerful. Uh <laughs> It, the eagle, uh, I believe, is the divine messenger, okay? Um, you are being protected. You are being guided. But it's going to require you to be firm, okay? Um, You've you got to make sure that you stand your ground and, you know, not give up on what it is that you're, you're going after. Now, you have the Nine of Pentacles coming up here in your foundation. This is what's driving you. This is what's moving you forward. Independence, okay, self-reliant, stability, security, definitely working hard. Uh, make sure that you're taking time out, you know, for play as well. You've got to have balance between work and play. It's very important, okay. Now, I do see a material harvest coming in here, you guys, and you've worked hard for this. Now, this material harvest that's coming in here, I feel like you're going to be taking some of the pentacles and you're going to be investing it in a new project or a new business as well. So, very nice. You may be investing it in you, going back to school or taking a class, getting a certificate. This is so much independence right here. Some of you are moving you know, moving away from home for the, you know, first time, okay? You're going to college or, you know, you, you got your job and, and you rented your first house or, or apartment here, okay? And you're feeling pretty good and you should. You should be proud of yourself. That's a huge achievement. All right, so we have the Six of Pentacles. This is what's benefiting you this week, okay? This is, you know, I'm seeing blessings, monetary blessings at that, okay? It is Christmas, so... I feel like many of you are definitely going to be receiving some coins, okay? Some uh, money from uh, family members and just loved ones all around. I do feel like with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like your give and take relationships are balanced. I, I do. I, I feel like at this time, for some of you, you're waiting on a judgment, okay? It could be a court-related issue or situation and it's going to come to fruition you guys but i feel like it's going to be later on the end of january maybe the beginning of february 2021 okay but you may be receiving news okay exciting news that you know there are agreements and compromises being made here okay and those of you that have been dealing with financial lack or hardships get ready because you're coming out of it okay Now you have the Ace of Pentacles right here. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. I'm telling you guys, this is reward for effort. This is the beginning of prosperity. You know, this is this is the beginning 
okay, of a new financial path that is definitely going to take care of you and definitely going to bring in financial stability and security and flow as long as you tend to it and you nurture it and you grow it. And this right here, whatever this money path is, you can take it as far to the top as you want, okay? So I'm telling you, this is exciting. This could be a new business that you're, you're you know, taking action on. And it's going to be a money maker, okay? It is a money maker. This could be a new career opportunity that you're taking charge on as well with this uh, Knight of Swords that you're going after, you know? And with it mirroring the Nine of Pen Pentacles, we're definitely talking about it, you know, taking care of you, giving you financial freedom. Now you have the Hierophant, <clears throat> the energy of Taurus coming up here. As your outcome energy this is you you know believing in yourself this is you understanding and knowing that you hold the keys to your success leo and this is you going within and taking those keys and unlocking doors that you felt were locked in the past being able to walk down paths that you felt were blocked okay so this is you taking charge authority and power over your situation what it is that you want in life Many of you are definitely healers, you know, and I say many of you, all of you are, okay, Leo, I feel like there's a few of you, though, that you don't realize it yet, but you soon will, I promise you, okay, now, I'm getting spiritual teacher, healer, uh, mentor, some of you have come out of the dark night of the soul, and you have so much to offer others along their journey as well, you're being called, maybe to Instagram, to YouTube, any type of platform. If, if you've been getting that feeling, okay, I want to do this, or, or you're being pulled in that direction to do it, do it, you guys, okay? Do it. You know, this can also represent, you know, moving up, you know, within a corporation, a company, or a business as well, maybe a leadership role. Very powerful energies that I'm feeling right there. I love it. All right, Leo. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment, you guys. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. Merry Christmas, you guys. And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Leo.